lecture 33 maximum and the minimum of a function two variable part three test the function f x y x square plus y square e raised to power x square plus y square for maxima and minima for the for those point not on the circle that x square plus y square is equal to one this is an equation of circle so to find the maximum mina as we know first we find the partial derivative of the function with respect to x it become x square plus y square e raised to power x square plus y square minus 2x plus 2x e raised to power x square plus y square when you simplify that equation so this equation can be written as 2x 1 minus x square y square e raised to power x square plus y square so this is the partial derivative with respect to x similarly similarly we can find the partial derivative with respect to y and we get what 2y 1 minus x square y square e raised to power x square plus y square now as we know we have to find the stationary point for that we substitute these fx and fy partial derivative of function with respect to x and with respect to y equal to 0 so fx is equal to 0 and put fy is equal to 0 this is for finding the stationary point so here if we put that equation is equal to 0 so 2x 1 minus x square minus y square e raised to power x square y square is equal to 0 and the second equation is 2y 1 minus x square y square e raised to power x square plus y square is equal to 0 so on this equation we get a relation from that we can say x is equal to 0 and that part is also equal to 0 so we can say 1 minus x square y square is equal to 0 and similarly for that we can say y is equal to 0 and again this part is equal to 0 because e we cannot substitute that part is equal to 0 e raised to the power x square plus y square so here x is equal to 0 and x square plus y square is equal to 1 and also we get y is equal to 0 so here the stationary point we get 0 0 and x square plus y square is equal to 1 these are two stationary points we obtain here but according to the given condition in the example we have to find the maxima minima for the point not on the circle that so this is the equation of circle so we consider this is the stationary point so hence 0 0 is the only stationary point according to the given condition now we have to check the maximum minima at that point for that first we find what f x x that is you can say this is r and we get e is to power x square plus y square and i'm writing f4 x power 4 minus 10 x is to power 2 plus 4 x square y square and minus 2 y square plus z and similarly sorry, 2 y square plus this is not z this is 2 and similarly we can find s that is f y y it become e raised to power x square plus y square and this is minus 8 x y 
plus 4x cube y plus 4x y cube this is x and you can also find the s is what sorry this is x y x and y and t is what f y y so it become e raised to power x square plus y square you can simplify you just take the derivative with respect to y here and one time more with respect to x here this is r and this become t and when you take the derivative of that equation with respect to y we get s and simplify we get uh, that equation which i write directly after simplification uh, so the t we obtain is a 2 minus 2 x square minus 10 y square 4 x square y square plus 4 y is to power 4 now when you find the r s t so at a stationary point x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 because we have to find the maximum minimum on that point so we directly substitute x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 in r s and t so we get r is what r we get at 0 0 we get 2 if we substitute 0 0 e raised to power 0 it become 1 and this equation becomes 0 this get 2 and s we get at 0 0 we get 0 and t at 0 0 we get 2 now evaluate r t minus s square so it become 2 sorry 4 and which is greater than 0 so we can say the function has extreme value and it is maximum minima so we can say r r is what r is again greater than 0 so here we can say f x y means the given function is minimum at the stationary point 0 0 and the value of function you can also evaluate the value of function which is 0 so here we take another example a rectangular box open at top is half to when given capacity find the dimension of that box required at least material for this construction so here we have given a uh, given a rectangular box so and we have to find the minimum material for the construction so it means we have to find the minimum minima or the function so first we create the function so as you know that let suppose let x y z be the length we consider just the length of length breadth and height of the box and also let consider v be the given capacity we can say is our volume and capital S consider as a either surface area that is surface of that particular rectangular box which is open at the top so as we know the volume of the rectangular box is in constant quantity and what's the volume volume of the box which is we consider V is what is length into breadth into height that is x y z we get a relation 1 and uh, we can also write here z is equal to v upon x y here you have to remember here v is what constant because every box has constant capacity now the surface area surface area 
of that rectangular box of rectangular box which is open at the top so this is what you can say s is equal to x y 2 time of x z and 2 time of y z as you know the formula 2 time of length into breadth plus breadth into length and plus length into breadth so this is s we consider this is 2 here we consider uh, z is a function of v upon z because we convert that function into a two variable here you consider z x y and 2 x z replace z with v upon x y 2 y v upon x y so we can say we get a function s this is x y plus 2 v upon y plus 2 v upon x so we take as f x y now is function of function of x y so we take as 3 now we have to optimize that function so it we require because we have to find the least material for the construction so here we obtain the value of x and y so first now we have a function now what we do for first we find the stationary point and for the stationary point we take the partial derivative of f with respect to x and y so f x is what f x is you take the partial derivative of that function with respect to x so we get y plus sorry minus 2 v upon x square right similarly we get f y that is partial derivative of a function with respect to y that is x minus 2 v upon y square you consider this is equation 4 this is equation 3 now for a stationary point just put f x is equal to 0 and f y is equal to 0 now we get x minus 2 v upon y square is equal to 0 and y minus 2 v upon y square sorry that become y minus sorry this is y minus 2 v upon x square is equal to 0 this is that one and this is now on some simplify simultaneously this equation we get you just substitute the value of y from here you can write y is equal to 2v upon x square and put that in that equation so so we get x minus 2v into x raised to the power 4 upon 4v square is equal to 0 and on when you take this we cancel and after simplify we get x minus 1 minus x cube upon 2v is equal to 0 so here we get two values x is equal to 0 and x cube is equal to when you put that factor is equal to 0 so we get x cube is equal to 2v or we can say x is equal to 2v power 1 by 2 or we can say the cube root of 2 similarly if you put x is equal to x the value of x is here so we get y is equal to 2v raised to power 1 by 3 so here we get an stationary point so the stationary points are is what points are 
टू वी और क्यूब रूट ऑफ टू वी क्यूब रूट ऑफ टू वी सो दीज आर देशनरी पॉइंट नाउ वी हैव टू चेक द वैल्यू ऑफ दैट स्टेशनरी पॉइंट ऑफ दैट फंक्शन दिस इज द फंक्शन ऑन दैट फंक्शन सो वी टेक द पार्शल डेरिवेटिव दैट इज एफ एक्स एक्स विच इज कॉल्ड आर मीन्स टू टाइम पार्शल डेरिवेटिव सो वन टाइम इज वॉट वाई माइनस टू वी अपॉन एक्स स्क्वायर सो यू टेक द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दैट फंक्शन अगेन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स सो वी गेट दिस बिकम द फोर माइन प्लस फोर वी अपॉन एक्स क्यूब एंड वेन यू पुट द वैल्यू टू वी सो वी गेट आर इज टू सो वी गेट माइनस टू माइनस टू v upon x cube it become 4 v upon x cube and t f y y so you take the derivative of that function that function with respect to y you get 4 v upon y cube and similarly when you find the s means the partial derivative with respect to x and y both you get That is one. Either we take the derivative of this with respect to, with respect to y x and with respect to this with respect to x. So s become one. Now check on that point. So you put this point here. So we get four v upon two v. This become two. And similarly four v upon two v. अगेन इट बिकम टू नाउ इवेल्युएट द आर टी माइनस एस स्क्वायर टू इंटू टू माइनस वन इट बिकम फोर माइनस वन दैट इज थ्री विच इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो सो द आर टी माइनस एस स्क्वायर इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो सो वी कैन से फंक्शन इज हैविंग मैक्सिमम पॉइंट नाउ आर इज आल्सो ग्रेटर दैन जीरो सो वी कैन से वी कैन से एफ एक्स वाई विच इज surface s is minimum at given stationary points that is the value on these stationary points in a stationary point when x is equal to 2v raised to power 1 by 3 y is equal to 2v raised to power 1 by 3 and for z as you know z we have a relation z is equal to v upon x into y so here we get v upon 2v 2 by 3 of simplify we get 2v upon 2 to power 3 and we can say that is if we put 2v raised to power 3 we can write y or x so you can say z is equal to y upon 2 or we can say z is equal to x upon 2 so here we get a relation and we conclude that s is surface is minimum when x equal to y is equal to 2z Which is equal to two raised to power one by three. So we get the minimum material required, and we, what is that material? If we know the volume of that particular box, so we can say the minimum material is required, which is based on volume. And if we know the volume in the means exact, uh, if we know the exact volume, so we can say how much material is required for the construction. of a rectangular box which is open at the top 